Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now. On to the video. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Hasbro Pulse exclusive Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class 2 pack of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee with trailer. Yes, the big exciting thing for this set is the fact that Core Class Prime comes with a trailer. So taking a quick look at the packaging. No window whatsoever, but we got some great looking artwork of Optimus and Bumblebee in vehicle mode rushing into battle. Transformers on the side, Transformers Legacy Evolution there. This side of the box is just extension of the artwork. Back of the packaging features product shots of Prime and Bumblebee along with the trailer opened up and of course robot modes and their weapons. This side of the package is the same art that we've seen since day one. So now, without further ado, let's get this set opened up and check them out. Oh yeah, and two months from today, TFCon in Orlando. I hope to see you there. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get your core class set all open up and out of the packaging, you'll see that they do come with a sheet of instructions that unfolds into a huge poster, which is a little bit of overkill for this set. And then, of course, you've got a adapter for Optimus Prime in order for him to haul his trailer. You get a little Optimus Prime Ion Blaster. You get a little roller. You get a little Energon X, and you get two little pistols here. You also, of course, get Core Class Optimus Prime, which is a repaint of this Core Class Optimus Prime, which I believe was from Kingdom. We'll go over this more later on. You get Bumblebee, which I believe is the same Bumblebee that came with the two-pack that came with Spike. I don't have that set, so this is gonna be a new figure for me. Then, of course, you've got the trailer. Now, we'll start things off with Optimus Prime. Now, as I said, this is a repaint of Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime, but done to look more animated style. So I'll bring in Core Class once again. You can see the darker paint job on Core Class. Now, keep in mind, my Core Class has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hex decals. And, I mean, they look all right in vehicle mode. I was very disappointed that this was a repaint. When I first ordered the set, I thought it was a new Prime because he can hold the trailer, but I'll show that off here later on. Now, the new Prime here has white instead of the gray, and that really stands out in vehicle mode. I mean, it stood out here on the Kingdom version, but really, really pops on this one. Front of the vehicle, uh, let's see, yeah, basically the same. The color scheme is different. And like I said, I got Toy Hex decals on this one. So all in all, I mean, it's not bad for what it is, but it could be a little bit better. Now taking a look at Bumblebee here. Bumblebee looks a little bit different than we usually see. He's not a little Volkswagen Beetle and he's not a Camaro. I don't know what this is some little tiny sports car got decent paint applications kind of a cartoon blue for the windows you got some silver for the lights some black for the bumper 
pinned on wheels here, blasted clip on wheels on the back. He even has the rear window painted, which is rare for transformer vehicles most times. So all in all, not bad. He feels a little cheap though. As you can see, he just, I don't know. He feels like one of those Dollar General Transformers you get. Now, while I have B, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in his little gray pistol right here. Uh, it has storage in his vehicle mode. Go ahead and peg that in right here. We'll go ahead and store this in vehicle mode because I'm gonna show off weapon storage in the trailer here in a second. So that stores right there, kind of looks like a tailpipe. And let's see, doesn't hinder his mobility whatsoever. So there you go, there is Bumblebee. Now let's bring in the trailer. And this right here is what most people are buying this set for. And the trailer looks really good. I love how it really is a throwback to the original Optimus Prime trailer. You got the stripe here along the side, the Autobot insignia, which is painted on. I love that. And it's kind of sticks out in a little 3D. It's, it's sculpted. It's, man, getting tongue tied. It's sculpted with the Autobot symbol tampographed on top. I dig that. Even has the sculpted little symbol right there that the original trailer had. Got all the ridges and rivets. I mean, they did a really, really good job on the details of this trailer. Even here on the back, you've got the door decap. Details looks really, really good. Got little, uh, I don't know, stabilizers that pop out. Just kind of like the, all the Earthrise trailers. I miss the swing out arms. I felt that they had more stability because you know, you move this thing slightly, it's gonna collapse. Though this one's not as bad as Earthrise. You move Earthrise like that, it falls right over. So that's the trailer and how this attaches to Optimus Prime, we're gonna bring it up, that's the Kingdom version. We've got Prime right here. He comes with this trailer adapter. And it's got a lot of nice details too for what it is. I mean, they did a good job on that. Got the fifth wheel there. You got the diamond plating. And how this works, you just snap it right here on top of the back of Prime. It's got the hole there. Line up to the peg here. And if I can do it, there you go. I mean, it doesn't attach tight, it's loose, but that's so you can swing around and move. So. I dig it, that looks really, really cool. And you can open up the back. It's got Bumblebee. Bumblebee can fit right in there. And Prime can haul Bumblebee off into battle or whatever he needs to do. Now, I don't have enough fingernails to get that opened up. So that's that. Now, I'll bring in Roller right here. And I love this, look at the details on Roller. They really went all out with the detailing on these little figures, even the bottom. Check that out. It could be hollow like most of them we get, but that's awesome. I love the looks of Roller, and of course he can roll right up into the trailer as well. So put Roller aside, and we're gonna open the trailer up. As you can see, the back folds down, and then you just open this just like so, and there you go. Once again, lots of sculpted details. Could use some paint applications, but I know Toy Hacks is gonna fix this up. Let's bring that stabilizer back down. And as you can see, there is the repair drone in here. And I will warn you, he's in there really, really tight. He can fold up, of course, pop off right there. Let's go ahead and bring the arm up, flip this back up and we'll reattach the drone. Like I said, that arm is really tight. He's got the flip up radar dish and he's got the movable claw so there you go another nice throwback to the original toy lots of great sculpted details on the drone as well even has a painted canopy love it i wish he had a opening claw but you know it is what it is so just like the original toy this can move up and down <laughs> but that is a tight hinge so trust me as you can see he moves up and down this section here, man, you will not stay together. This can raise up like so, so you can shut this around the trailer and kind of have roller. There's a tab right there too. So not roller the drones. So you can kind of have the drone up and armed like so. It looks like some kind of Dollar Tree 
robot dinosaur right there, so you can do that. You can pop this completely off. Fold roller, not, I keep calling him roller. Fold the drone down like so, and he's got these pegs, where are they, right here. He can peg on top of the trailer. So, well, maybe. That's a tight fit. So you can peg that on top of the trailer like so. So Optimus Prime can wheel the drone into battle with the trailer armed up. So let's get this opened up once again. Nope, not when he's attached. Now, with the drone attached to his base, you can actually attach him to roller. So you can have this, well, thought I could. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's just a really, really tight fit. So there you go. So now you have like a battle ready roller drone combo. <laughs> I dig that. That's cool. All right, moving on. Good gosh, that's tight. That's my probably one issue. I guess it's not an issue. I'm not going to complain about tight joints on a figure, but it just makes it hard to manipulate. You keep popping off the top of the drone. So I'm going to go ahead and reattach the drone to the trailer and show off the weapon storage right here. So let's go ahead and get everything folded up. You've got these sections right here. This is where Prime's Energon Axe can be stored. Just line it up, press it in. There you go. You've got storage for his Ion Blaster. There's a hole right there for the handle and a slot right there for the clip or magazine. My problem is I've got big fat fingers and it's hard to get this in here, especially on camera. So there you go, gun stores in just like that. Then you have the second storage area for the black pistol. Just like the rifle, there's a slot for the handle a slot for the clip. And once again, to try to get my fat fingers in there to get that attached, and I'm having an issue with it. These are made for kids, people. So there you go, there is the pistol attached. And finally, if you're not using Prime to haul the trailer, you just want to have complete weapon storage, you can pop off the little shield here, and it's gonna peg in right here, maybe. Oh, it goes in upside down. So it's got these little slots right there, or pegs, they're gonna line up to those slots. Get that pegged in. And so now you have everything that belongs with Optimus Prime in the trailer. <laughs> it's the, can I move that well? Well, they didn't think this through, did it? It doesn't want to close up over the drone. Ah, there we go. So now everything is stored within the trailer. So you do have a lot of playability with Prime and the trailer right here. I love it. That is so cool. I love the trailer. Oh, yeah. Left out roller. Get in there. So, yeah, there's everything stored within the trailer. So now let's take a look at the robot modes. Transformation for this Optimus Prime is pretty simple. You're gonna take the front of the vehicle and well, actually let's move the arms out, of the legs down, move the arms out of the way. You guys have probably seen this transformation many times before. Flip this up, rotate the upper body around, bring the arms around. Elbow joints are a little tight on this one, once again, which is great. Not going to complain about tight joints on my figures. Flip that back. Get the head out. There we go. Bring the legs down. Snap the crotch in place. Let's see. Get that out of the way. There we go. Bring that up. Snap the crotch in place. Bring the flap down. And there you go. There is Optimus Prime. And he looks pretty good. I like the animated color scheme. He's got the yellow there on the belt. The cartoon blue windows look really good. 
Great face sculpt, as usual. Bringing in the Kingdom version. You can see the darker style, and like I said, it's got the toy hacks on it. So this one doesn't look bad. I love the animated look. I wish he had some paint down there on the shins, but it is what it is. Now, the blaster that the new Prime comes with is a nice glossy black paint. You can see the blue right there. So it's a blue piece of plastic painted black where the original was just all black. At least I don't think it was painted. So anyway, we can go ahead and put Prime's rifle in his hand like so. And there you go. Now you can also attach the Energon axe. Now the repaint of Prime here, Nemesis came with an axe instead of a blaster. So that's a repaint of that. It's blue plastic painted orange. And how this works, flip in the fist, revealing that hole, attach the axe, and there you go. So that's pretty slick. Now, if you want to do something a little different, the trailer attachment piece here can double as a shield. So you can remove Prime's weapon, flip the fist in, revealing the hole. There's a peg on the back, plug that in, Hard to do on camera. And there you have Prime ready for melee combat. He's got a riot shield. He's got his axe. If you don't know what to do with his blaster, bring in Roller. You can attach Prime's blaster to him. So now you got some double trouble with Prime and Roller right there. So something you can do. And then of course also he comes with this extra pistol. It's listed as Prime's accessory. I don't understand why it's Bumblebee's, but if you want another new look for Prime, I swear I cannot do this on camera. There you go, pistol and battle axe. So not a bad Prime, doesn't want to stand up. A little bit back heavy with that big old fanny pack on his back. So there you go, there is Prime and Roller. Now bringing in Bumblebee, getting him transformed. Let's go ahead and remove his pistol. And let's see, the first thing we're gonna do is, I've only transformed this guy once. I'm gonna kind of pop him apart. You got these back flaps here you're gonna bring up. Like I said, this one, he feels so cheap. This plastic is really bendy. Go ahead and pull the legs out. You want to extend the arms back here and pop it off the joint. Man, always on camera. But it just goes to show there's not... Bum Bumblebee's the worst out of the two, in my opinion, as of right now. Let's see. I'm all bum-fuzzled what to do next. Bring this up and, out and pop that one off. Yeah, not a fan of this bumblebee. So bring this section back, fold this over his head. Just like so, let's see if I can get those arms reconfigured. There we go. Bring the feet up, separate the legs. <clears throat> that back panel down. And there we go, there is this core class Bumblebee. And I, I just, I don't like him. He he looks good, I mean, that's Bumblebee's head sculpt right there, and that's about the only thing I'm gonna give this guy credit for. He looks very G1, as far as the face sculpt's concerned. Lots of gaps in the back, especially the back of the legs there. I'm not a fan of these wing things. I mean, I guess you could fold them back like so, gives him a hell of a backpack, but that still doesn't look good from the front. So those can fold around, you know, he's got ball joint articulation, the shoulders, the arms, don't want to fool with it too much, arms will pop off. The legs and feet, eh, I, I hate being so negative, guys. I don't like this figure. He just, I don't know, this, this is just not good. Anyway, let's bring in his little pistol right here. Of course, this can go in his hand if I can do it these handles are good lord so there you go now you got Bumblebee all armed and ready for battle and of course you could also give him this extra pistol right here so he can dual wield get in there 
All right, then you got Bumblebee ready for some dual wielding action adventures taking on Decepticons. But Decepticons see this Bumblebee, they're just going to laugh at him. Little skinny arms, pegged in wheels. I don't like this figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Evolution, Core Class Optimus Prime and Bumblebee with Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime, Studio Series 86 Core Class Ironhide, Studio Series 86 Core Class Wheelie, and Studio Series 86 Spike. All in all, the Transformers Legacy Evolution 2-pack of Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and the trailer is a pretty fun set. I love the trailer. The trailer is so cool with all its gimmicks, playabilities, and throwbacks to the original G1. The Optimus Prime figure we've seen before, but I do like his color scheme based on the animated show, though the truck mode could be better. But that was my complaint with the Kingdom Optimus Prime core class as well. The Bumblebee figure, it sucks. It's definitely the weakest part of this set. I am just not a fan, as if you couldn't tell. He feels cheap. I don't like the transformation. He pops apart way too easy. And I wish we got something else other than Bumblebee. So, does the Transformers Legacy Evolution, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee 2 pack belong in your collection? Eh, if you're an Optimus Prime fan, maybe. I mean, the trailer is awesome, and I think it's going to look really good in vehicle mode displayed on your desk. Bumblebee, man, I don't know. I just, this is a hit or miss set for me. I'm glad I picked it up, but I wish I waited until it was on clearance because really I'm only enjoying 75% of this set. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!